So, hi everybody, and today we'll be playing Dead in Finland. It's a survival game, and it looks like a casual game, but if you let it, it can be very punishing and difficult. So you get um, several survivors, you can see them here, they land, they're Vikings, and they land on, a, on an uninhabited island. Well, first it's uninhabited, but we'll see if that continues to be so and they need to survive like they need to build their camp they need to not die of hunger depression etc um it's very interesting and we have all the dlcs here so this we won't use because it's the endless mode we'll do the story and um, here we have the doggy it's very cute and we have Norsak stories, which adds the dialogue. I have not experienced that yet, so we'll see what it adds. I have beaten the game before, um, so um, we'll see if it's gonna help me this run, because everything is very random um, dependent. We'll start a new game. And we'll play the story because it's more interesting, and here's the interesting part, the settings. We'll obviously choose extreme conditions, because we want to have all the fun. Um, it slows our XP gains, uh, it um, increases the uh, speed with which the members of the family will get hunger, depression, everything else. Um, then um, it will increase their dehydration traits, disease traits, etc. So it's going to be very difficult. Um, it's true Viking um, doesn't save you every day, and usually I use that, but for this recording I don't want to do something silly and fuck up my game. We won't be safe scamming. Like, if you fail, we fail, we try to recover from that. So this is like a backup in case I can't continue this playthrough in the situation which I put myself in. We will need the tutorial, but we'll see the story, we don't need a quick start. Um, so this is the random number generation, uh, we'll stay with default RNG, punishing default RNG, uh, which can fail you time and time again. Um, but I'll switch on the Gaussian distribution, so what it says is that um, if you have a probability of getting three to nine fishes when fishing, then it's just more probable that you'll get five, six. It just makes sense. So let's start. I've always had simple needs. A roof. A family. Peaceful life. But, like the skulls sing, you can't always get what you want. And what the gods gave me was fire and steel. Kill the bastard! They screamed. Luckily, we were warned in time. I can't forget the tears of my beloved Bloodywed when they burned down our house. Our memories. I yelled. Drop these bags and row if you want to live. We barely escaped on a stolen boat, with no map and no destination. They didn't bother to follow us. sent us the most terrible storm. Our fate was decided. Death. Oblivion. Then, we saw it. Coming out of nowhere. Salvation? Or Loki's dirty tricks? The gods are playing with us. 
just know that we must survive. Okay then, we must survive. Let's see if we can. What about Kari Moira? Where are you? We're here, honey. We're fine. Odin be praised. The old father hasn't completely abandoned us, it seems. I wouldn't have battered it considering the last turn of events. Kari, are you alright? Are you alright, my child? Yeah, ma'am. I'm great. I will not burn Yurt's best storm in our asses and that's perfect landing on the sharp rocks of an unknown, unknown island. The perfect day. She's just, uh, okay, you have to choose. Um, comfort her, should probably, you know, reject that. She's a teenager, like, she wouldn't take comforting that, but scolding her is also not very parenting. Yeah, okay, let's, let's joke with her. In our misery, we can be thankful that we didn't get Njord's rod up our asses, believe me, honey. Is that a joke? It's not very funny, like, okay. <laughs> Our cross, I'm going to throw up. It is, it is cross, but she seems to like it. Okay. Yeah, well, that's cute and all, but what do we do now? You have an idea where we are, Eric? No, we drifted far to the west over many days to the end of the world as we know it. Never heard of an island that far to the west. I don't think any Norsemen ever went here. Um, so it follows the legend, actually, that Vikings reached shores of Canada, I guess, and they called it Vinland. Uh, which, there's like no wine there, very ironic. Um, we should explore the vicinity and see if we can find someone that could help us. I hope that someone doesn't turn out to be a frost giant or worse. It will be worse, Moira, don't worry. We'll see. Family still disoriented by the shipwreck started to look around. They decided to walk away from the sad remains of their ship to explore the woods. The forest was as silent as themselves, the atmosphere was getting tense when look over their track. Carrie rushed to take the path and the others followed her. They continued like this for almost an hour and they finally found an end of the path outside the forest. A wooden shack just here it doesn't seem to be inhabited though. Um, I know this option will make them depressed so you know let's just take the gift. If we get it, it's ours now. What do we do now? There's no hope of turning back to our home, only fire and steal away is there, so we must start a new life here. It may be a land of new possibilities for us, as long as we stick together. Okay, everybody likes each other. Fine. I'm thankful to Freak to be able to endure this hardship with my husband, my dear sister, and my daughter. Okay, everybody likes everybody. Without my family, I wouldn't have the will to fight and leave. We're here for your sister, always, but I still hope this cursed island is inhabited. Time will be very long if it's just the four of us. And we'll need husbands if you want to repopulate the island, right, Kari? Oh, no way, ever. We can stay in bed with you. You can stay in bed with your dirty dreams. I'm going to explore this island and make it mine. Listen, everyone, now is no time for jokes. We still have plenty to do if you want to survive. We still have enough potable water for a few days if we're rushing ourselves. Maybe we can't rely on that. I found two big barrels that we can use as containers for our water. Okay, that's some water. Nice. Don't forget, don't drink water coming from the rivers before boiling it. You'll be sick to death. So that means we need to build a fire quickly. I only have one fire mushroom left. You take it. Good, we'll need to build a lot of things if we want to settle here. I'll set up a workshop with a few tools where I can work quietly. But we'll need the resources, wood, stone, ropes. Okay, I know, it's a survival game. Shut up. We can scavenge wood from our ship for now. Still have a bit of food left in the two. We should go fetch it. Yeah, but it won't last long. We mustn't rely on that too much. I looked around, found some things we could use. Check it out. Okay, thanks, Gary. I will start her back. Good job, Gary. We should explore the surroundings some more. We may find food resources and whatnot. And beasts and traps, I agree that we should explore, but be careful, we don't know what to expect. Let's start working on this camp, we have plenty to do. Okay, we do have plenty to do. Um, let's first look at our characters, I guess, because they have some random stats. Uh, so that's Carrie, Restless Adventurer. 
and what traits does she have? Extreme conditions, okay, that's gonna be true for everybody. Can't stay in place, bed, healing, cooking, fishing, gardening, okay, won't be easy for that anyway. Hates harvesting, okay, can't be. Oh, minus 10 to endurance, that's bad. Hates cooking, that doesn't hurt us, okay, and she's relentless, so she gets less fatigue. That's actually good. And she's good at exploration and scavenging and hunting and she's agile and stealth. So this this skills they help us do the tasks easily and this skill checks will gonna help us in events. So Eric, the dead, um, has a trait of potential hero, which uh, gives you more skill gains. Um Lasting remorse, he loses the depression slower. It's crafting, no, come on, you, you're gonna be a crafter. Unlucky, minus five scavenging and minus five agility. You're a stump, Eric. Um, yeah, your crafting is not very good either, okay. He's good at fishing and hunting too, it's forestry, cutting wood. Um, his strength and constitution are fine, and some nice metal stats. Lodewet, his wife. Um, so she has a healthy body, uh, less sickness, that's good. But she has stay-at-home mom, uh, less mining, forestry, exploration, hunting, okay, makes sense. Less agility, bad with beasts, beast handling minus five, and loud stealth minus five. That isn't her as very much, it's fine. She's good at cooking, um, much else. Um, scavenging is fine, I guess. Forestry, okay. Her constitution is really fine. She's a tough lady and she's charismatic. Okay, and Moira. She's the sister of Bloodwood and the clever lady. She's cunning, so she's plus 50% to XP gains. This is actually good, so her levels will rise clear. And we'll need with the end game a character which um, uh, is gonna pass all the checks um, and be like a check of all trades. So uh, last time I did it with Moira and she was very good just because of her XP gains bonuses. But we'll see what works this time. Maybe Eric would be better. His weak body, uh, more sickness, uh, less forestry XP. Oh, uh, minus 10 to concentration skill XP gains. That's bad because it's healing, which is like the best in beast handling. Oh, that sucks. That actually sucks. And minus 5 agility. It's fine. She's not stellar at anything. She's stealthy. She has really high intelligence in this. This is going to help us. She's like our witch. Um, okay. That's our characters. Let's look at our camp. Um, so we have shelter, water supplies, workshop. That's it. I don't have anything else. So let's try to fix our workshop. The condition is bad. That's good. It's not stellar. We don't have enough stone. Uh, let's fix water and shelter. We'll get more wood from the scavenge anyway. Okay, so scavenging will give us some resources. That's actually like the most important task right now. So we'll see who's best in scavenging. That's Tari. That sucks because I wanted to explore with her, but she's like so much better. Okay, we'll do like one scavenging and one exploration with her because we want to do only one scavenging per day because it gives you food, but the food spoils, so we don't want to do too much. Uh, food scavenging in the day, because it's just gonna spoil, right? So, who's best at crafting? I need to craft something. Mm, Eric, but you hate crafting, right? Oh, fuck, man. Okay, scavenging, is it scavenging? Okay, you will bring some water. And you will... Okay. You will craft. Actually, you can... Like, okay, who's good at exploration? Exploration is the only thing you can um, do. Moira is actually better at exploration. You can explore. I know you're gonna hate it, but... Okay. So, let's put Eric 
to do something. Um, I usually start with lumber camp because wood is necessary for everything. But it's actually also nice idea to do like harvesting camp to get some food and also get Moira to do something because Moira is like bad at anything else. Um, let's we can get some food from the ship. Um, maybe from the events. The food is not like the worst thing right now. Um, let's start with Lumber Camp. It's it's like classic. I don't want to risk running out of food. Like that, that would be like the worst thing to run out of. Um, we're gonna need a mining camp too because we need that stone for repairing anything. Yeah, I think everybody's um, ready. Let's. Let's move on. Okay, we got some raw fish, fabric, fish bait, some ointments. That's nice, it's gonna heal us. She got fatigued and depressed from that. Okay, Eric, 56% lumber camp. Hopefully, we'll do it today. She brought some water, not that much. And we'll spend some water exploring. Ugh, you get so fatigued. Okay, fine. Um, let's see. You are it. Stay here. Let's put Kari on exploration. And more. Oh, she's just. She's just tired. Okay. Um. Or she's tired. Should probably just. <laughs> just rest more. I don't have anything to do with you. Okay. Um. Fine. Yeah, I don't like you drafting either. Like, just rest Moira. It's gonna be fine. How's our exploration going? So we'll probably finish exploring this. Okay, we have a lumber camp. Now Eric can cut some wood, which he hates, if I remember his traits correctly. Or he's bad at it. Okay, we're rested a little. That's good. Until we have a resting place, people will have to rest in shelter. It's less effective. Okay, let's see what we find. Um, wheat patch. Um, uh, we'll probably do it tomorrow. Everybody's fresh and rested because this is skill checks, you know. So, um, skill checks are affected by fatigue and sickness. So it's best to do those things in the morning. And this is oh ginger tree, nice. Um, can we get the sap? Oh, we're harvesting so bad. If we don't get the sap, we're gonna get depressed without any way of actually uh, remedying that. Okay, um, let's make the fire. Okay, hundred uh, percent. Fire. Let's pour some water. I need four water because I have four people. And worst case, they'll all four get dehydrated and need water. So yeah, fire is not gonna die. Um. Yeah, let's let's start the night. End the day and start the night. Oh wait, let's see what we found. Jelly cam. Hmm. Fish, well, it's raw fish, that's not good, but okay. Okay, that's enough for the day. Come, everyone, it's time to grab a bite and try to sleep a little. You can start without me, I have to consolidate this shelter some more. Uh, you shouldn't overdo it, Eric. The shadows are already dancing with us. No, really, I can't, I must do it. It's my fault if you. Gosh, you need a psychiatrist, Eric. Not again, Eric. We already discussed that topic. You don't have to take the blame alone for what is happening to us. And she's rightfully pissed. But you heard like me, honey. The man that burned her home were after me. They screamed, kill the bastard. I'm the bastard. It's my burden to bear alone. Gosh, good a family therapist. Dude, he's depressed. Do you see so much depression? Why did they call you that? That's a story I'd like to hear. If you weren't close to dying from starvation, of course. We should make traps. The forest must be full of tiny meat and legs. 
And for big dangers, I prefer if it stay here with me. There's plenty to do at the camp. Ugh, in your dreams, mom. Yeah, yeah. Why is everybody hating each other? Gosh, you're the worst. Okay, we have some axes, we have some bags, and uh, we're good to cut trees in the forest from now on. I'll let you take care of that. I don't have the muscle for it. You can help too, Moira. You must straight strengthen your body. You're too weak. Ugh. I'm the sister who got the mind and you got the muscle. <laughs> and I got both. Carrie. Carrie is the best. Ah, uh, you sure do, child. At least somebody likes each other. Finally. Cutting trees is tiresome, but hauling them back to camp even more so. Anyone can help, but don't overdo it if you're too tired. You'll just end up hurting yourself. I just want to remind everyone that wood is our main source for crafting and for keeping our fire, so we shouldn't overlook it in a steady supply of wood. We know. Yeah, everybody got a little hungry, and oh, everybody got dehydrated. Of course. So everybody's gonna need one water. I have enough water, so I want 100% chance of lowering dehydration. Now let's get everybody drinking. Nice. Dehydration is bad because it increases the fatigue and it worsens the tasks. So it's better to just not be dehydrated. Okay, raw fish. It'll cure some hunger. That'll give us some sickness too, and we can get no share. Let's hope we don't. Please, no no share. And it's perishable. Oh gosh, you got no share. Why? And it's perishable, so it means that. Uh, 20-50% of the stock will turn to rotten food, but if you leave one, then it will never turn to rotten food. So, it's fine. Uh, we're gonna leave that for later, um, to cure more hunger. Uh, tomorrow. Okay, let's spend the night. More sickness, that's because she's nauseous, right? Dropped some fatigue, dropped some fire. Okay, next day. And it's sunny. Okay, let's finish here and, you know, um, see you next time with day two. Let's see what day two brings. You know, the big baddie will come. Bye-bye. <laughs>